Liverpool side with absolutely irresistible home form, just one defeat in their last 49 at Anfield, but maintaining pace with the leaders, five points the gap after Arsenal's late, late win at Luton on Tuesday night will mean improving on the away days. Only two wins from eight on their travels, form that will give the home side a glimmer of hope perhaps tonight because they have a new manager, of course, Chris Wilder, the man entrusted with the newly vacated Sheffield United hot seat. But is he their knight in shining armour? A change at the top is one thing, but the change in culture and mentality will be much, much tougher. It's a team that's lost 43 of their last 55 Premier League games across three different seasons. I'll tell you about their team in a second, but um, this is a, a Liverpool side that has one enforced change. Ibrahim Akanate comes in for Joel Matip. We are going to see him for quite a while by the sounds of things. Three others to tell you about as well. Wataro Endo, the man who sparked the wonderful finish to Sunday, comes in for Ryan Gravenberg, which should give Alexis McAllister a chance to play a little further up. Cody Gatpo and Joe Gomez also come into that Liverpool side uh, here tonight. Well, Sheffield United, where they are concerned, it's five changes for the new manager, Ollie McBurney, after a red card that was probably more akin to the 1990s than the modern day against Burnley at the weekend. George Bulldog was forced off at Turf Moor. Uh, five changes in come Jaden Bogle, Vinny Souza, James McAtee, Andre Brooks and William Osula. John Fleck, Luke Thomas and Ollie Norwood drop to the bench for the new man here tonight. Quite a few changes made in that Sheffield United team tonight as well, Asula being one of them of course who comes into that front line, spent part of last season on loan with Derby County, he's had a bit of bad luck with injuries as well, so perhaps an opportunity for him tonight, smartly taken by Taro Endo, goal scoring hero from the weekend, it was up a bit of a pocket of space now for Luis Diaz, in comes Cody Gapo, got that shout from Mohamed Salah who could see that dropping onto his left foot but couldn't get the kind of connection on it. Maybe Gakpo is the best option. Yeah, Endo does exceptionally well there. It, it certainly would have gone to VAR with that pass. It looked as if Diaz might have been offside. Puts a lovely ball into the box. Too high for Gakpo. Probably gets a shout from either Sabozlai or Mohamed Salah. And Mohamed Salah, how often do we see him connect with these balls in a proper manner and put them into the top corner? But on that occasion, just gets a little bit underneath it, spins off the side of his foot. And for him, that's an opportunity wasted. Salah still hanging about, left-footed shot from him, off the leg of the outstretched Gustavo Hamer. Sobosly over the set plate, Canate wanted that front post, it bounced all the way in and off the back of Jack Robinson. There was a hand dangling as well, which was the, um, the sparing shout from one or two Liverpool players. Just managed to get it away from danger. Corner once again from Sobosly with a bit more trajectory on it this time, cleared away from that near post. Gomez has his pocket picked in it to two against two all of a sudden here the Sheffield United rain away and a chance maybe for McAtee here big save from Kevin Kelleher the on loan Manchester City player of all people and Joe Gomez knows now that this game is really hotting up it was almost cataclysmic from Liverpool well Joe Gomez maybe a little bit unfair but he actually he should do it a little bit earlier to, if he's going to do that try and beat the player a little bit earlier as opposed to just look, waiting for him. And his credit, he gets back and he helps out Trent Alexander-Arnold, but can't prevent the shot coming and goal. Gomez finding Luis Diaz. McAllister's joining in just for the moment. Salah and Gakpo, the furthest men forward. It's another Liverpool corner. It's coming towards Sobberslack. Might bounce for Salah. It's cleared in the end by Hamer. Joe Gomez, perhaps. Sofoslai gets the shout from Trent Alexander-Arnold. Salah's header. Kanate's header. It was Hollywood from the goalkeeper. I don't think it was going to cause him too much of a, a problem. Yeah, it was a hard one for him to get any sort of real power in it. The accuracy was good. It was sneaking inside the, the right-hand post. For the right well, it was certainly one for the cameras, wasn't it? It was uh, quite a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Just every Liverpool player so keen to get on the ball here. Alexander-Arnold found himself some space. Sobosly returns the favour. Alexander-Arnold looking for Salah in the middle. It was Robinson that got that vital foot in. Go for another Liverpool corner. 
Marshall to build his bum there. Alexander Arnold over the corner there. Out towards the edge of the six yard box and completely unmarked is the Liverpool skipper. It will be looked at. There was some kind of hand to the ear there of Simon Hooper, the referee for this one. But it's his 20th Liverpool goal, his first of the season. And the answer to that question as to how long Sheffield United could hold on was not much longer. He thinks it's a goal. Liverpool players think it's a goal. And hopefully inside the first 40 minutes of this game, Liverpool have the lead. Well, it certainly be looked at. The fact that he gets a free run would suggest that there's some sort of contact. I think it's, been, well, it's certainly been Jack Robinson that's been picking him up in the set plays. I think it's I mean, Hodzic, I think, that goes down, is it? It looks like he's been tripped up by his own player there, doesn't it, though? Does it not? Is it not Robinson that trips him up? It looks a simple goal, but he's still got to keep his eye on that and follow the flight of the ball all the way. Fothering him absolutely no chance whatsoever. Goal. They were quite satisfied that it was not the Liverpool player that impinged on. And it looks like a, a mix-up, really, between Ahmed Hodzic and Robinson. It's like their two sets of feet come together. Not that it matters now. McAllister. Fancies one, why wouldn't he after the weekend? It was bending and shaking a little bit on the way to Fodringham, but lost count now, it's another Liverpool corner. Well, again, the goalkeeper, that's a simple save for him. He sees it coming all the way, takes the easy option and just palms it over the crossbar. It's a decent enough strike from the Argentinian. Canate. Partially cleared by Hamer. McAllister with an important foot in there. Gakpo trying to find a shooting opportunity. Salah has the overlap from Trent Alexander Arnold, and the cross again is deflected wide for a Liverpool corner. Robinson versus Van Dyke, perhaps again from that set play, and it's Salah, and what a wonderful save from Fodringham. How he managed to get to that. It was a wonderful connection from Salah. Somehow doesn't end up in the back of their net. Well, it's pure instinct from the goalkeeper. It just gets a yard, does Mohamed Salah. And you have to say that he makes really good contact with his right foot on the volley. They're a lot more willing Sheffield United, aren't they now? At the pace of... Samori on, and it's Darwin Nunes in on the goalkeeper. Who again comes out, top trumps. Ball back in from Harvey Elliott. Gomez perhaps. Not sure whether it was a cross or a, a shot in the end from Gomez, but high and wide over the top of the Sheffield United crossbar. Well, it's an opportunity. It's a wonderful pick out by Trent Alexander Arnold. We mentioned earlier the fact that his, his passing has not been fantastic, but on that occasion it really is. It's right in the path of Darwin Nunez. He hits the target for him. He gets out there and makes a save. It's quickly out to him, cuts down the space and not got an awful lot to aim at as the Uruguayan. And then the ball coming in there and Joe Gomez, he just takes a swipe with his left foot, still to score. They'll take the long throws, they'll take the opportunity to toss it into Liverpool's box as many times as they can now in this final two and a half minutes, but Nunes is away and he's got support as well from Soboslai. Nunes, who wins the ball back fairly for now, according to Simon Hooper, has found Soboslai, who finishes the game off. Such a big, important player for Liverpool. It's his third in Liverpool colours. It's his first in the Premier League since September. And more important than both of those things, it's put the seal on three very important points on the road. It does well here, Darwin Nunes, he doesn't give it up because he's actually the one that lost it. And as soon as he gets this ball here, his eyes are firmly focused on Sobislai, who's in oceans of space. But the touch has to be good, and the finish has to be good as well. And both are absolutely exquisite. Liverpool look as if they're going to get the three points away from home and hopefully keep a clean sheet as well. Fodringham's long kick out Raven Burke and Curtis Jones and that is that for three 
very important Liverpool points on what could have been a very tricky night in Sheffield. New manager bounce, the skipper who got the scoring underway in that first half after a corner from Trent Alexander-Arnold and Dominic Soboslai, the Hungarian captain who wrapped up the occasion from a Liverpool perspective tonight. His third goal in Liverpool colours. Another assist as well for Darwin Nunes, let's not forget this time. Not for Mohamed Salah, instead for his big pal there, Dominic Soboslai. And it is three very important points on a scrappy, freezing cold night in Sheffield. It's finished here, Sheffield United nil, Liverpool 2.